ஹலோ வேர்ல்ட் குட் மார்னிங் குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் குட் ஈவினிங் வெல்கம் டு கோடிங் சயின்டிஸ்ட் டாட் காம் யூ ஆர் வாட்சிங் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் எக்ஸைட்டிங் சீரீஸ் ஆன் ஜீரோ டு ஹீரோ ஸோ கைஸ் திஸ் இஸ் டோட்டலி அண்ட் நியூ பிராண்ட் சீரீஸ் ஐ ஆம் லான்ச்சிங் டுடே ஸோ திஸ் சீரீஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அட்டானமஸ் ரோபாட் ஜீரோ டு ஹீரோ சீரீஸ் நவ் வை டிட் ஐ கால் இட் ஆஸ் அ அட்டானமஸ் ரோபாட் பிக் இட்ஸ் அ ட்ரோன் பேசிக்லி ட்ரோன்ஸ் ஆர் நத்திங் பட் அ part of the bot so it's it's a flying robot right so i named it as a drone bot autonomous drone bot and this series is for absolutely zero to hero for beginners so just to give you a pretty high level view about this introduction we will be using pix hawk it's it's a it's a kind of microcontroller but i would call it as a flight controller that's an industry norm which is called in the drone industry it's a pix hawk flight controller all right and as we go along we will also use raspberry pi to make it fully autonomous flying robot that is the drone bot and in addition to that we will also use intel 2 t265 tracking camera or a depth camera you can call it as which is mainly used for the autonomous uh, mobility and tracking purpose so using these three you know uh, pix hawk and raspberry pi uh, single board computer plus bunches of cameras and sensors and uh, t265 tracking camera from intel you are going to learn ton loads of things in this series of new brand lesson call autonomous drone bot zero to hero it's a special series and all you will need to do is just build it program it and fly it well it looks easy but yeah if you take it easy is going to be easy but but for beginners i am sure you are going to have a lot of fun and lot of learning and development of skills so let's take a look at it guys so basically as i said this is this is a introduction lesson about what you will be learning in this particular series of lessons this is a zero to hero series for absolute beginners right who do not have any knowledge about electronics drones or coding and stuff like that however you may need some basic understanding about python coding and soldering tinkering and stuff like that but you know never mind do not worry about it i will walk you through step by step a baby step by step from scratch from the ground zero level in- including small nuts and bolts right so this series is going to be lot more better than your jetson nano jetbot series which which most of my viewers have really appreciated and encourage me looking at that series in my youtube channel however the drone bot zero to hero series is going to be more more detailed and hands on compared to the jetbot jet nvidia jetson nano jetbot series right now let's let's give you some more details about this particular series what you are going to learn so the entire series is divided into three parts which is called the level 1 level 2 and level 3 so let me show you what exactly is the level 1 and stuff like that so basically you know in level 1 you will learn about the hardware components like the basic drone components like gps the motors uh electronic controllers and the speed controllers basically basically it's called the ESCs electronic speed controllers uh, batteries and stuff like that right so for example pixhawk we are going to use the pixhawk flight controller so basics of the circuit connections and configurations and the power distributions how it works and stuff like that and you will learn how to design your own drone and find the right parts you you will you will gain the skills to identify your own components what 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 best suits you depending upon your budget depending upon you know what is the use case what what is the need for you to build a drone and stuff like that so you you will be able to identify the components and building of course the assemble you will learn how to assemble and build your drone from the parts that were chosen from the list i am going to share you the list of course and you can also prepare your own list based on the learnings from this lesson it's it's pretty easy guys once once you get a hang of these lessons what you have, what i am going to build now you will get a hang of what components is required you know you you might go for a expensive components you might go for a cheaper alternative components so all those things you will learn 
and then the most important aspects is the estimating thrust to weight ratio so this is little confusing but but you will learn very detail about this you will learn how to basically estimate your tw ratio that is the thrust to weight ratio with the parts list and adding up the weights of the various components like motors and ESCs and flight controllers and your raspberry pi your intel t265 batteries and the uh, chassis the frames how much weight it, it is right so all those things you will learn to calculate all those things and put an estimation what kind of thrust you will require right and the rc controller of course you will learn how to configure and calibrate your roll pitch yaw throttle control and all those stuff right and then finally you will be able to do some basic flying with the remote controller you will be able to lift your uh, drone bot and fly around wherever you want so that that is what the level one aspect is going to cover as a part of the zero to hero tutorial series now let's take a look at it from level two point of view what you are going to learn it's going to get bit more complex right so as i showed you we will have uh, pixhawk and uh, raspberry pi and you know there are ton loads of other components so the hardware part you will be adding the computing power to your drone bot right so what does that mean computing power means obviously your raspberry pi 4 or 3 is is a, is a single board computer same like jetson nano right so using <coughs> to you will add <coughs> excuse me guys so you will add this raspberry pi to your drone and you will learn about the circuit connections between the raspberry pi and how you are going to connect these two right it's it's a pretty tricky stuff but i am going to show you pin by pin each and every gpio pins in raspberry which pin should go into this how to circuit how to distribute the power and all the stuff from the software point of view you are going to write your own python codes i am going to show you line by line code to control your drone bot from the scratch using a you know either a terminal or maybe we can install a IDE either a Visual Studio IDE or MicroPython IDE that is a Thony IDE into Raspberry Pi and write few Python scripts to control your drone drone bot right and telemetry you will learn how to set up the ground control station for your drone bot there will be one module attached to the drone and another to your ground station that is your computer or a laptop and that is called the gcs it's called ground control station so you will get a hands-on experience into the telemetry aspects and of course the camera now there from the camera point of view there are two options one is you know these kind of csi uh, camera which is attached to your raspberry pi and i will also show you how to connect the fpv cameras right so that's a standard drone camera in addition to that as we move along we will also fetch the imagery calculation the vision calculations from the t265 manufactured by intel and finally in level two you will be able to build a semi autonomous mode right that is your you will be able to uh, perform some basic uh, mission planner apps and you know configuring uh, configuring those mission planning into uh, your system and uh, we will use some third party gps navigation tools or mobile apps there are there are ton loads of free open source tools so i will show you how to download that do the configuration settings and do a semi autonomous robot flying robot or a drone bot you can call it as and then in level three of course level three is going to be more advanced in level three you will learn about adding the intel t265 right this is the intel t265 tracking camera to your raspberry pi of course this looks very easy right it's just you know a single usb you can just plug into your usb and it's connected so you might ask wait what's what's a big deal it's so easy right well there are ton loads of things guys i had been doing you know a lot of r d with this kind of single board computers especially jetson nano and raspberry and there are so many stuffs to troubleshoot document you know work around and libraries and stuff you you just go bonkers so i am going to show you systematically how to configure and install your t265 or you might also use uh, d435 i intel camera depth camera uh, and how to do that with raspberry pi 
we will also add a mini lidar okay i i don't have it right now or or i would show it it's a small little uh, lidar to raspberry pi and you will learn about the circuit connections between the raspberry pi and and pixhawk power distribution and connect all these devices and make it a fully full blown autonomous bot from the software point of view we will be using computer vision that is open cv based visual tracking and navigation system and you will be able to write few python codes to execute the open cv tracking so that's what you are going to learn from the software point of view and of course it's going to as i said it's going to be fully autonomous mode that means end of this course end of level 3 you will be able to build a pick up and drop delivery drone bot you will learn how to fly your drone bot in a autonomous mode using a third party application and integrating with those apps and integrating with your web browser for live video monitoring you you can do that everything from anywhere most important thing most interesting aspects of level 3 is you are going to expand the horizon that means you are going to put your drone bot into the van network right w a n van network that means you will be able to configure your drone bot for you know with your 4g sim dongle a kind of simple uh, dongle where which you use for your internet and stuff something like this you know where you put in your sim card and your cell phone sim card and it becomes a internet dongle so you can just plug this dongle to your uh, raspberry pi right so it gets a 4g or a 5g uh, power so that's what is going to happen so so what it means that means once you are done with the 4g and 5g configuration you will be able to control your drone bot from any part of the world that means you are you, you can leave the drone bot at your home in in uh, anywhere in india and you might be sitting in maybe singapore or malaysia or or us or europe from there you will be able to connect hook up to your drone bot and start operating and you know fly around and see what's happening and kind of thing wow that's going to get really interesting guys and we will get into iot applications right you will learn how to add various types of sensors to your drone bot so that that's that's what is going to happen right we, we will probably build at least one five five or six different sensors i will show you how to connect it configure it code it and make it to run so we will use some of the use cases from agriculture from mining industry from transportation you know all those things are possible i am going to show you at least five different examples and five different sensors and then you can take it up from there so that's level 3 all about so the entire course content guys is going to be of you know level 1 level 2 and level 3 it's a continuation series is going to be continuous at least i am expecting probably about 70 80 lessons or 70 different videos or 80 different videos you know it depends it depends upon how the build goes and stuff like that and most important thing by end of this lesson what you are going to gain what skills you are going to develop that is the most important aspect right so skill development is the most important thing guys by end of this entire series from zero to hero you are going to be definitely a hero right for example you will be able to design your own drone and understand the overall architecture right you will be able to uh, 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 do the entire circuitry wiring between each and every components different components connect it together check the power distribution and then you will be able to hook hook it up to your single board computers like raspberry pi i am also planning to run a you know conduct some few lessons on uh, jetson nano how to hook up your hook up your jetson nano as well so that possibility is opening up right and you will be able to write your own python code and you know control your bot from any part of the world you will learn about sensors and iot internet of things deployed on the drone you will learn the difference between autonomous and control you will be able to control your bot using the fly sky remote controller which is what we are going to use it in this particular uh, series of lessons and also autonomous without any remote control operations you can do it autonomously you can do mission planning and such like that and then of course the most important skills is the real world drone bot applications that means where it's going to be used how you are going to solve certain problem and such like that so that's that's all about it guys there there are ton loads of skills you can develop it's going to be really really interesting this is a long running series and it's going to be lot better than the jet bot series trust me that's you you are going to see now last but 
not the least so the pricing aspects for this particular the value for money right so there are basically three options you can choose i would highly recommend for option number one because you will build hands-on skills in developing your own drone bot projects and you can customize your own drone with option one learning modules right so option one is nothing but you know you will you will get the entire list of uh, components which is required i will send you the list with the links where to buy and stuff and i will share you a detailed step by step step circuit drawing which i prepared i put together everything with the color marking with black and white red everything is color coded and explained line by line wire by wire all the circuits are very well documented and then i will also share you the configuration steps with the python source code through my github account i will share you every steps and in addition to that as a part of option one you will also get 50 plus or 60 plus probably 60 i'm targeting around 60 detailed recorded videos video tutorials i'm going to present myself i'm going to hook it up i'm going to put both the cameras and i, I will show you how to connect it and how to test it and how to configure it on the system all those th all those stuffs are going to happen in addition to that of course in case you are stuck somewhere if you are stuck in you know some portion of the project you can reach out to me i will schedule a one-on-one -on -one doubt clearing sessions on zoom or whatsapp or whichever mode so that's going to cost the entire option one is a kind of peanut price just about 150 dollars 10,000 rupees it's nothing it's peanuts and then we have option two uh, which is basically part of level one and level two full kit i can give you the complete kit you know which includes level one and level two plus option one so the entire cost costs about about thousand bucks thousand dollars in uh, in addition to the shipping cost right and uh, option three you know you want me to build the entire drone bot you want me to do a consulting for you 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 want me to configure test it and deploy it 100 percent ready to fly that's another option right you can reach out to me and we can discuss for the beginners for zero to hero i would highly highly recommend option one right you you can go for option three but there is no fun it's just ready to fly out of box i can build it and i'm going to enjoy building it but you are not going to learn right option three three is probably good for you know industry solutions and stuff like that but for for the beginners for hobbyists for learners for skill developers who want to build the skills option one is the best or even option two so that's about it guys and it's going to be really really a interesting series I do look forward to seeing, seeing you guys and uh, this series is going to kick start in next probably couple of days time. This is just an introduction video what is coming up so that you are aware and stay tuned. Do click a subscribe button and be ready all set to go. Goodbye.